what's going on today we will be taking a look at this machine so basically i was looking at a try hack me and i found that there is a new event coming up at the first of december advent of cyber 3 2021 um, hopefully we'll be having the time to go over this while taking a look at that i remembered that the last year i wasn't able to finish the advent of cyber 2 and I was stuck at the day 24 and you know day 23 I haven't finished these so I took a look at day 23 for advent of cyber 2 and I found this scenario to be very interesting and worth taking a look so basically uh, this is the machine and um, the idea behind this scenario here is that the machine has been hit with a ransomware attack okay uh, some files have been encrypted um, let me just make this bigger okay so here some we have some files that have been encrypted right uh, and at the documents folder in here so the scenario was not to demonstrate how ransomware affects a machine rather than show a scenario where you can re how you can recover from a ransomware attack if you don't have an offsite backup so in this folder here the documents folder the ransomware uh, encrypted all of the files inside these folders so I see some here uh, hidden hidden directories if you go to confidential we see there is file called master password and there is a weird extension called Grinch this is the extension used by the ransomware to encrypt the files if you also take a look at the database this one not encrypted these talkings if you see the extension here Grinch so it's kind of uh, a mock ransomware attack, all right? Mock ransomware attack, where some files have been encrypted and you're required to find a way to restore these files. Now, regularly, the only way to restore from a ransomware attack is to have backups or to have the decryptor. Now, if there is no decryptor released yet by a security vendor, you will need to have to restore from backups. Now, suppose that you don't have backups uh, off-site, or in a hardware uh, disk drive you will need uh, the only way to restore backups is from something called the volume shadow copy so basically this is what was this is what the scenario about now if you take a look at the uh, task scheduler normally if there if the volume shadow backup or the volume shadow copy is enabled on the windows you would find it in that in the task scheduler so in hopes of recovering the files you would jump to task scheduler and you will see if there is a task name called shadow copy volume so in the scenario in the mock scenario here we have a task called shadow copy volume now if you click on the task inspect the general attributes see it's under the administrator and it's configured to uh, let's see here you go to triggers it's configured to run weekly 7 a.m. every Monday and if you go to actions as you can see here the program is VSS admin it's the utility to manage the uh, shadow copy volumes and it's taking a backup copy copy of a volume which has this ID now so if you have managed to do that before a ransomware attack you might be able to recover the files so that's also one way to prepare for ransomware attack is to have shadow copies right shadow copies of your data so it's like you can take it as a snapshot um, now if i want to know you see here i want to find the corresponding uh, partition to this ID so there is an ID here now if I want to take a look at the uh, volume IDs I could use the VSS utility or VSS admin so if I type VSS admin list volumes I see here we have three volumes okay these three volumes have the shadow copy enabled I see one start with F8 7a and F8 the last one is C drive other two not very clear now if I take a look again at the task I see it starts with 7a so the 7a volume 
this one here uh, it's not clear what is the drive letter so it seems that there is no drive letter assigned to that volume now if you check on the disk management utility indeed you see there is a backup partition but the backup partition here is not assigned a drive letter that's why uh, we can't just view it on the explorer we only see the local disk drive but we can't see the backup um, so what we can do here we can just right click on that assign a drive letter allow access to this volume by using the following drive letters click add and say you want to assign it to d okay now as you can see we have assigned drive letter we should be able to see it under the uh, explorer now if you click on that we see we have the same structure of the files we've seen previously in the documents uh, the difference is if you click on confidential you see here also we have master password dot grinch so you might think that yeah also the backup copies are encrypted if you take a look also at the vstockings we see the same extension here but the the difference is you can inspect their content if you launch powershell now okay now if we ls let's make these bigger so you don't complain about the font okay now if we go to users back ls okay so i wanna go to d and then i would type ls but if i want to see the hidden files or hidden directories i would type get child item dash force or i would use dash hidden here the the, the the difference is when i see when i use dash hidden i only list the hidden files or hidden directories when i put dash force i would list everything now let's go back to dash force so see we have confidential recycle bin and other and other directories now i am interested in confidential i just want to see um, what is the difference between listing how, how can I view the content of the file after in the backup uh, volume? So cd confidential uh, get shared item for dash forwards. I see one master password dot x dot cringe. So this is also encrypted, but hopefully uh, I will be able to get uh, the content of the file. So I can use get content cmd let. Ah, see we were able to retrieve the content of the text file now if you were to do that on the documents folder right the encrypted one you won't be able to see the content for one reason because it is encrypted so if we check now see go back to c drive um see the users see the administrator see the documents all right, so now list the hidden files, cd to confidential. All right, let's now try to get the content of that file. See what's gonna happen. Get content. Now, as you can see, it's encrypted so um that's one way actually to retrieve the contents of uh, or to recover from a ransomware attack is to prepare and have some sort of volume uh shadow copies and of course if you are an incident responder and if this wasn't your machine you would want to take a look at uh, the task scheduler and see if the shadow copy volume was enabled on the machine trying to recover so basically you have many you have three ways to recover a ransomware attack you have the traditional one where you would look for a decryptor and then you the next one you would 
try to find if there are backup copies of site uh, or the third one you would inspect inside the PC you're investigating to see if there are shadow copy volumes enabled and that's how you recover them now if you go back to the desktop we see there was a note here if you take a look at the note um, if it's saying if you were calmly looking at your documents I encrypted all of the workstations at best festival company just now including your Mac eager send me lots and lots of money to my Bitcoin address so this address is page 64 if you use cyberchef to decode it you will be able to find the Bitcoin address all right then now before we end the video um, I just want you to pay attention to this task so this is the task that was created by the ransomware to be launched and if you take a look at the trigger as I actually from the name it can be it can be concluded that this task is kind of weird but if you look at the triggers it is triggered whenever the administrator logged in so whenever you log into the workstation uh, the ransomware would run and encrypt your files now let's go back to the shadow copies now after we assigned and recovered the backup folder how can the backup drive how can we restore all of the files we can right click properties you go to previous versions in the previous versions you see here there was there was one time where a backup has been taken you can highlight this and click on restore this will restore your backup and your files now i'm not going to click restore now because it's going to you know turn off the machine um yeah so that was today's video i hope you enjoyed that and until then see you in the next video